Hello, my name is Kevin, and I've been thinking a lot about Kirby. Specifically, what is the most effective way to pile Kirby on top of Kirby? There's only one way. Kirby Adventure Stackable Minifigure. And I figure you might as well illuminate that Kirby Tower with the Kirby Star Lamp, because this is game loot. You don't need 9-inch nails to check out Pretty Hate Machining. Custom metal-based fabrication including Guts Dragon Slayer Sword from Berserk, Cloud's Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, and a one-third scale replica of the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. For a throne occupied by a cosmic energy-devouring Titanian Eternal, there's this ridiculous Thanos maquette. Standing or sitting over 20 inches high, Sideshow Collectibles painstakingly recreated the omnipotent villain right down to the gems in his Infinity Gauntlet. Silver, surf your way to Hyrule by wearing the Legend of Zelda Boss Key Necklace, complete with gift box and chain link. Link your hand to a piranha plant by cramming it up the warp pipe of the Super Mario Piranha Plant hand puppet, which doesn't shoot fireballs, but you don't need fire flower power to turn on the Game Boy heat change mug. Officially licensed to save Daisy with every cup of coffee, tea, or necrophage oil? Wait, no. Apply that to your sword to boost your attack against this Witcher 3 Drowner's t-shirt. No need to wild hunt for your Pokemon of choice when you choose your own pet. Stephanie hand draws and custom prints a Pokemon card of your non-human loved one and then sends you digital versions and the physical one. Obi-Wan with the dark side by forcing on this absurdly accurate Darth Vader helmet, or just wear his life system controls. You know what, just look exactly like Anakin with this meticulously studied and excruciatingly recreated Darth Vader costume ensemble. Ah, ah what a sentence. Then see 3 p all of these awesome shadow box creations by Decor 8-Bit. Keep a secret. Zelda floor passage decal somewhere in your home dungeon? So you can escape chores without a tracer, hoodie, and leggings. But don't overwatch the physical special edition of Hyper Light Drifter on PS4 because it's limited to 9,000 copies and will sell out faster than a spherical droid separating slices like the BB-8 pizza cutter. Cut Switch screen scratches out of your life by importing the Nintendo Switch front cover, available in black or pink. Pink up Pokemon egg plushies which are handmade and oh so soft and fuzzy. And get fizzy with PlayStation Symbol Fizz socks so your feet know which buttons to push. Which I assure you is not Psycho, it's Psychonauts. These figurines available in one buck blind boxes or just be double fine and get them all for 10 smackaroos. All right, so what am I playing now? Well, since we last saw each other here on Game Loot, I did finish the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Absolutely loved it. Might be my favorite 3D Zelda. Don't tell anyone. Ocarina of Time, sorry. Since then, I have moved on to Nier Automata for the PS4. This game is amazing. I can't even believe that this was made. I don't know if you have heard of the original Nier. I loved this over on the PS3. Kind of a cult classic game, but really unique, really weird, beautiful music. Blends a ton of genres, so there's RPG elements, there's action elements, there's shoot 'em up elements. It's like they just got into a boardroom meeting and said, hey, wanna just put all of the different types of games together? And they said, yes. Yes, we do, we'll call this near. So check these games out if you haven't. Uh, what have I picked up recently that is a little obscure? Black Sigil, have you heard of this game? Have you played this? This is a JRPG on the Nintendo DS, has a complete SNES RPG vibe to it. I popped it in last night just to check it out for a little bit, but if you've played this, let me know what you think of that. So let me know what you think of Nier, Nier Automata, Black Sigil, let me know what you think about Egg Salad, it seems divisive. Okay, and as always, thanks for watching.